Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a month or so ago, Microsoft started rolling out Windows 10 version 22H2, which as many of you will know, is the latest feature update for the Windows 10 operating system. Now, Microsoft, a month or so later, has now finally announced that Windows 10 22H2 is now ready for broad and broader deployment. Now, they made this announcement recently on the 18th of November, just a couple of days or so ago in my region, over on Microsoft Docs, that the feature update is entering its final rollout phase and is now designated for broad deployment, as mentioned. Um, as part of the broad deployment phase, Microsoft does say that they are offering this update to an expanded set of eligible devices now running Windows 10 version 20H2 and later versions. So that would mean versions 20H2, 21H1 and 21H2. And just to put this all into a nutshell, if you head over to um, your Windows update page and as yet you have not seen the Windows 10 version 22H2 feature update appear on your Windows update page. And what you can do now, if you have an eligible device and what that means, that an eligible Windows 10 device means that you don't have any safeguard holds or blocks against your device and that you have all the most recent updates installed now you can go check for updates and there's a good chance um, if you haven't seen the update already and you have an eligible device with no safeguard holds and is fully updated that you should start seeing now that windows 10 version 22 h2 feature updates by clicking on check for updates and um, the feature update will appear as an optional update on your windows update page if you do see it and um, that will be for Windows 10 version 21H2. Now version 21H1 should start seeing the feature update being pushed out automatically if it hasn't done so already, because as I have posted previously, 21H1 reaches its end of support and service on the 13th of December 2022. And if you are running 20H2, you should have seen that update, if not already, being pushed out automatically to your device, because um, for home users and consumer versions of 20H2, um, that version of Windows 10 reached its end of support a while back. Now, um, what this means if you do get the update is that um, it will take a couple of minutes to install because it just uses a enablement package which doesn't take much bandwidth and takes just a couple of minutes if that to install and as i have posted previously the feature update for windows 10 version 22 h2 which i have already updated to back in october um, doesn't really have any front facing um, new features so to speak and um, most of the features are um, productivity and security features that have rolled out for the operating system and those take place more or less underneath the hood and when you do upgrade say from windows 10 version 21 h2 to windows 10 22 h2 and um, bar over and above bar a couple of minor small little improvements you you are not going to see too much difference between the two versions of windows 10 so do yourself a favor go check for updates if you haven't done so already and if you haven't seen the update appear as microsoft says now that 22h2 for windows 10 is now becoming more widely available and is now ready for broad and broader deployment so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one